Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about mitigating losses when trading. Once again I want to remind everyone that trading is basically gambling and you should never invest any money that you're not willing to lose. This is only one example of turning a loss into a win over the long term and I want to stress I may be wrong. Telstra. Telstra is Australia's largest telecommunications company which builds and operates telecommunications networks and markets voice, mobile, internet access, pay TV and other products and services. So it's a pretty safe bet that they will not go out of business. However, they are a publicly traded company and as such are subject to market volatility. Over the last five years Telstra's share price has gone from $4.76 to $2.68. I bought 433 shares at $3.67 back in August 2017. The last share price was $2.68 so I have a loss of $428.67 in value on the shares that I own. Now I have three options here that I can see. I can sell my shares and take the loss, I can hold my current shares and hope that the share price improves once again and my loss on value gets better, or I can do what I refer to as double down on my investment bet. If I buy 200 more shares at market or lower seller's price, whichever is better, this will dilute my original purchase price from $3.67 down to $3.38, which means the share price does not have to rise as far for me to see a return on value on my shares. Also, because I own more shares, I also receive more dividends. This is a gamble because for all I know, Telstra's share price could dive even more, or the board of directors at Telstra could decide to cut the dividend payment altogether and make my owning so many shares moot, so I roll the dice. But by far the best way to mitigate losses is to be diversified, or as the saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. For example, if you only buy shares in the big four banks and another global financial crisis happens, all of your stocks will take a hit, but if you spread out your shares over different sectors, for example some stocks in financials, CBA, NAB, Westpac and ANZ, and some in consumer staples, telcos and utilities and other sectors, at least you have not lost all of your portfolio, only that sector. And one of the best ways to have a diversified portfolio is to invest in ETFs. What is an ETF? An ETF is an exchange traded fund which is basically like a mutual fund. Mutual funds usually require a minimum buy-in amount in the thousands of dollar range and is managed by professional money managers who also take fees and commissions. Whereas an ETF has much lower fees and is split up into shares that can be bought and sold on Comsec, just like any other stock. ETFs give an investor access to hundreds of companies over a range of different sectors, all in one stock. For example, I have shares in Russell Investments Australian Responsible Investments ETF. This gives me access to all of these companies. ETFs like mutual funds have an index objective. My ETF seeks to track the Russell Australia ESG High Dividend Index, which is weighted towards companies that demonstrate positive environmental, social and governance ESG, without investing in businesses that harm the environment, people and society. In the Comsec trading platform in quotes and research under tools you can find an ETF screener which can show you a wide range of available ETFs and also let you filter the ETFs to your liking. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has been helpful. Please if you have any questions or if you want to correct me or give me tips on anything I missed please leave a comment. Constructive criticism is always welcome if it means I'm making money.